Beautiful day out here. La brisa. Mm. The air. Smooth and warm in Florida. But welcome back. Today's day 10. Just wanted to give you a brief look of where I'm sitting out today. Where I'm going to be reading this book to you and sharing some wisdom again. Are you ready? Well, let's go. Let's read what's on the store for day 10 today. Day 10. I choose to love myself today. Today's work reminds you once again that choosing love over fear truly is your choice. It's not, I wouldn't say love over fear. I would like to say embracing and loving and changing the perspective of fear. Throughout the day, I lead you to renounce your self-attack and choose a more loving perspective. Today begins the pattern of a whole new way of communicating with yourself. Establishing a self-dialogue is crucial. It's a crucial step toward becoming more self-loving. When you say to yourself unconsciously, it becomes what you consciously believe about yourself. Today, let's clean up the conversation. Let's begin with your morning reflection. Get cozy in your meditation space. Sit up straight. Take a deep breath in through the, your nose and exhale as if you're blowing out a candle through your mouth or in through the nose and out through the nose. Just a little reminder, we need noctric oxide and noctric oxide is increased through nasal breathing. So if it helps to act like you are breathing in through a straw with your mouth and breathing out as if you're blowing out the candles that will also imitate the nasal breathing to help you increase your nitric oxide read the following passage out loud to yourself then sit quietly for a minute to absorb the words so i'm sitting out here this is my meditation space for today find your space are you ready? Here we go. I am loved. Oops, sorry, it was my fingers. <laughs> Everything in me and outside of me is love. Today I choose to repeat this, believe this, and commit to this. I am love. Anything else I have chosen to believe is false evidence appearing real what i choose to see as real today is love and only love i am love affirmation for today i am love Today affirmation is simple. Throughout the day, when you notice self-attack or self-judgment, say gently to yourself, I am love. The simple gesture of reminding yourself that you are love will be your guide. My teacher, my yoga therapy teacher the other day, when I was having a burnout moment, a doubtful moment, gave me a mantra for me to hum and it's just in Sanskrit meaning I am just to resonate about I am love so the sound of the universe the sound of the divine the sound of the higher spirit is om right that is what the universe vibrates but to resonate today of I am if you want to actually act add an extra oomph into your meditation today. You can meditate on the mantra so hum. And it goes like this. Take a deep breath in. 
सो हम Take another deep breath in. So hum. And all you're saying is I am. And with the vibration that you're doing the mantra with, it wakes up your vagus nerve which affects lots of systems within your body gives you a little vibration shake up just an added oomph to your day if you want to add that what's going to happen tonight or you can do this later on this evening's exercise is based on inspirational teacher louise hayes most powerful tool Make sure to have a box of tissues nearby. This is majorly transformative work. This exercise requires a mirror. Oh, the mirror walk. She's going to ask you to do the mirror talk to yourself. Grab a hand mirror or a makeup mirror, compact. I use my bathroom mirror. Bring the mirror into your meditation space. Well, if this is your meditation space, you can do a self-reflection with the with your phone but the mirror is intense or just go to your bathroom bathroom was just as intense for me make it extra um, sacred for you with some incense some tea nearby look at yourself directly in the mirror and say I love you Say this out loud at least three times as you stare at yourself directly in the mirror. Let go, release, and don't edit your emotions. Just let love take over. This exercise may bring up several emotions, maybe even some you feel totally unprepared for. The first time I did this exercise, I felt awkward and uncomfortable. Affirming self-love in the mirror was the opposite of what I'd been taught to do. And it made me feel almost embarrassed. The first time I did it, I felt the same. But I also cried because I couldn't believe that I was saying it to myself and that I really needed to hear that. I really needed to hear and see someone tell me that they loved me and truly meant it. And I truly believed that. I didn't have to guess. All kinds of difficult emotions can come up when you practice this exercise. Therefore, I've added a bedtime practice of simple self-reflective journaling. After you affirmed self-love in the mirror, allow your inner guide, your capital S self, your inner teacher, the person within, write for 10 minutes or more. Remember the other day I mentioned to use your least dominant hand to write? Because your least dominant hand is connected to your subconscious. It's gonna tell you a lot more. It's gonna write without hesitation versus your conscious mind. So write with your least dominant hand for this practice if you wanna try that. That's just a little yoga therapy technique for you. Let your pen flow and allow your emotions to come forward. The topic of this in right is, I choose to love myself fully. Thus, let the writing begin. Well, that was day 10, everyone. I wish you well as I stay here for a couple of more minutes, reflecting on the fact that I am love. And I am a part of all of this. Have a nice day. Namaste. Mucho bendiciones. Seneco Kakirona.